That's why when you buy these trucks, man. Look, man, the man is doing his thing, but let me show y'all, man. Look at what we came across under this thing, you too. That, that is. Look at that, man. You too. Jason, Mr. Hamilton is the name. Look, let's pause. I wasn't gonna do it right now, you two. I wasn't gonna do a video this morning. But guess what, man? <laughs> but guess what? It looks like we're doing a video, you two. It looks like we're doing a video, you two. So, let me give you the storyline, right? I got up at like, it was around 4 o'clock. So I went to bed, let the truck run to like 1, turned it off for like 2 hours, man. Woke up. Once again, the truck was dead. I'm like, come on, man. What is going on with this? Because she already know, man. She a beast. There's no reason why she need to be dying just by me turning it off for 2 hours. I used to ride her, you know, turn her off for 8, 10 hours, no problem. You too. So finally, instead of just getting a jump, I decided let's invest to get the battery, you two. I'm telling you. That's why when you buy these trucks, man. Look, man, the man is doing his thing, but let me show y'all, man. Look at what we came across under this thing, you two. Th that is, look at that, man. Yeah, yeah, look at that. I mean, we got one practically bleeding, dying, drowning the other one. So, you know, that is my problem right there, you two. That is my problem right there. Hoo -hoo. You know what? Hey, <laughs> y'all already know, right? You already know what we're about to do. You already know what we're about to do. And you already know what you two expect. You're trying to get on this journey with the big boys, man. It ain't easy. It ain't easy, man. But hey, I'm glad it came at this time, kind of. I ain't ever glad to spend no damn money. But it happens. Now we know the, the, the problem. I'm going to see how many I can replace, get away with, so I get another paycheck. I'm going to keep you all posted, you too. But man. <laughs> It's one thing after another, yeah. One thing after another, man. So I'm guessing you did your little voltage thing, huh? That one, obviously. Yeah. All right. So how many of them came bad, bad? Huh? What it looks like right now? Yeah. Maybe this one or that one. That one. Oh, okay. So we haven't actually ran the thing yet to see. Okay. I have to separate all of them. Like take all the wires off. Oh, okay. Put them. Put this right here. Might read the whole thing. Right, right, right. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Like a regular rain will make it do that, though, right? Huh? A regular rain will make that happen like that, right? Yeah. It would or it won't. It's probably, it's like... Because I know I've driven through rains and stuff, but it shouldn't make it, it should have dried off already. Yeah. Okay. Don't shock yourself, bro. Yeah, you ain't getting paid that much. Well, I don't know, you might be. Uh, I can't speak for you, but mm-mm. Try not to shock yourself, man.
Why, you don't think that one is working? I said this one was bad and this one's good, but this one's like obviously leaking. Right, because I know you said that one was 13 point something, yeah. but 13 is a good voltage though, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Just need to and it, yeah, yeah. You might want to check that magic because it's showing that one is good too. So I don't know, man. I know it ain't the alternator. I just replaced the alternator. YouTube. YouTube. It's either we're having a malfunction in equipment or, or, or something, man, because the, the, the reading is showing right that this battery right here is good it show the same voltage for this battery as this battery but that one don't look that good yeah anyway we'll be back we'll be back see y'all yeah, yeah, can see why i need i need to be in cali right y'all y'all can see why i need this long haul load right you if you can't see why let me show y'all once again. Look. This is why, y'all. Get out the light, man. This is why. So I'm having, I'm going to replace all of these with interstate, man. I'm replacing all of these. Plus labor. We're looking at another, you know, six, seven hundred bucks probably, man. I'm replacing all of this. I, I will replace all this to these raggedy thingies, man, but... You know, whatever. I'm going to have to replace one because this thing was practically broken, man. Look. I know there's my new inspired, motivated owner-operators out there, man. I'm trying to come out here on this road. Yo, I'm telling you. First of all, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching the kid. But this is that everyday struggle I'm telling you all about. Man, I'm not capping on anything. It's a whole lot of money out here to be get, but it's a whole lot of money to be spent. I'm telling you, man, feel like I'm doing a repair every day. But hey, like my girl said, she said, by the time you're done with that truck, everything in that truck going to be brand new. But that's the goal, man. That's the goal. We got to get it. Um, got to get this replaced. And, and we got to start hauling, man. <laughs> we ain't no Cali. Y'all already know that, boy. Y'all already know where we're going. I I want y'all to take the <laughs> the before look, right? You, you already seen it. This is that before approach. Before. I keep y'all posted once we get it replaced, everything look good, brand new, and we're rolling, man. Alright. I see y'all. I, I see y'all in a second. We're about to see the progress, y'all. I know you're seeing it, but that's from the phone angle. Old ones. Replaced with interstate, so. You know. Some people said interstate was good when I was looking it up. So that's what we're doing. So now I wish me and hopefully this hold up. And when I get to Houston, once and for all, like once and for all, y'all, we're doing the whole thing, man. We're gonna fix whatever that is, cause it's back at a major way. You know, I know something that gotta do with over there. So, and then this little baby drips of the, uh, I think that's my, uh, what is, uh, radiator fluid. You know, it's not much. It ain't dripping, dripping, but a little dip, dip here and there. I got to get that taken care of. So, from Cali, we get back to Houston, YouTube. This is, we do. We get back to Houston, man. This is what we're doing. So, I'm pretty much get back. Pick truck note, make sure personal bills are taken care of. The rest is going in this sucker right here, man.
That's the plan. Get it, get it over with, man. Get it over with. I can't keep doing repairs every week, y'all. No, sir. We can't keep doing repairs every week. It's coming along nice. Ain't no stay, you know. Hope they do it. I hope it at least lasts me for two years. Maybe. You know, some people say they last for four. I don't know. I don't know. If that's the case, that would be great. If not, life goes on. But one step at a time, right? At least we ain't got to worry about tires, trailers, lights no more at this moment. Because that's taken care of. Anyways, man. Y'all looking at pretty much the final product going to be like, I'll be back, man. All right, so the work is done. They put my steps back in. So now, you know, we're about to see what's up, man. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man, if I tell you like every little thing that happens, you know. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you and say every little thing that happened don't scare me, right? So the reason why I ended up changing this, uh, all the batteries today is because the battery died thing happened again this morning, right? I used to run my truck like seven, eight hours and it wouldn't die. So I knew the battery was deflated. So I turned it off yesterday around 2 a.m. Went back to sleep, woke up at like five, trying to turn it back on. So, you know, I make sure the battery didn't die and it died. So I'm like, all right. Obviously, that's ridiculous. Uh, a truck this magnitude should be able to hold, should be able to hold a charge for two hours, even with the refrigerator and the fan running. So that's what happened, man. But every time, bro, stuff like that happened as an owner operator, man, it make you nervous. Not only that, that freaking leak under his back, man. So. I'm gonna do this 3,000 miles, what I gotta do. Drop this up, bring the load back from Cali or whatever. And my, you know, I'm not gonna wait till the 14. Now, if I get back before the 14, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the shop, man. I'll be honest with y'all. If I can replace everything under that hood, that's what I'm gonna do. The radiator ain't really leaking that serious. It's drip, not even dripping. It's just every now and then. But I want to see what's going on with that. And that lick, I want to know what's going on with that lick. I'm not just looking to um fix the lick. I want to replace whatever's in there. And then of course this morning, because I tried to start my freaking engine so much to where now I notice after changing the battery and stuff like that, the engine light is staying on now. So I'm like, you know what? This is too much BS, bro. So. I'm not going to give up on the truck. I've invested too much as an owner operator in this truck. But I am going to take it in. I I'm going to take it in to a dealership, not just a love, a TA, to the actual Kenworth dealership and get some work done, man. That's what I need. Spend whatever, five, six thousand dollars whatever I got to spend to get it done running. That's what I'm going to do, man. All right, man. We got we to gotta be heading out. We're heading out. It's already 10 o'clock. I wanted to leave out here seven, but obviously that didn't work out. Hopefully that engine light is just because. Because that's when it came in. That's when it came on. Because I was doing all that. But anyways, I see y'all down the road, YouTube. The goal is to stop in Arizona. So I see y'all in Arizona. YouTube, what's going on, man? First of all, look, I want to apologize. I'm sorry to y'all. I'm super sorry. It's late, I already pulled the blinds. Uh, I pushed myself to stop at a location further than they originally planned. So, let me see if I can make it a little bit brighter in here for y'all. <laughs> oh, dang, all right, there you go, YouTube. All right, so we stopped in Phoenix, y'all. We stopped in Phoenix. It's hot out here, man. Imagine being dark skinned in this weather. Yeah, so some of y'all light skin better be thanking your garden angels and all that, right? Because y'all light skin. It ain't easy being a dark skin in this weather, okay? Um, like I said, we made it to Phoenix. 
Now my dilemma is this low is supposed to drop off on Thursday, right? I'm like, I'm 290 something miles away, 80 something miles away right now. As for what happened today, man, preventative measures. I keep telling you all that, man. Look, <sighs> this is real life. You guys are experiencing my life on a daily basis as an owner operator. This is why I told y'all there's really nobody else doing it like I'm doing it, you know. Y'all get to witness the ups and downs, the struggles. I keep telling you. So, if you guys noticed a few videos back, I turned off my truck for like two hours and died. We did that again this morning when I woke up. I'm like, you know what, I'm not... Look, if I can't leave my phone plugged in, charging... Turn off the truck for a couple hours and it's gonna die because of that. There's something wrong. So, you know, I got I went in there, I, I parked out the loft, so I went to the shop. They came and test my voltage or whatever, jumped me. I got it started, so I went in there. I'm like, you know what? Let's take a closer look. So they got under by the battery compartment. They noticed two batteries. One of them was pretty much leaking or whatever you wanna call it, right? Major stain. But three of them was bad. One was good. Three was bad. I'm like, you know what? preventative measures right now some of y'all gonna be out there that want to go and bandage and duct tape your problems when you get your truck hey or some of y'all already own operators you do that but I, I haven't been in the game long enough to do that so what i did i'm like you know instead of three replace all four they were like well we got this 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 i said what's the difference they still were in the state is like 150 the other one's like 130 i'm like you know what I've heard of interstate batteries. Interstate batteries are good. So re replace all four of them with interstate batteries. And that's what I did. So now I'm hoping, I'm hoping, y'all, uh, that, that that should last me four years. That's what they said, three, four years. So now just think about it. I replaced all my tires this month, or last month technically. I'm looking for like, like three, four years on those. With the exception of the steer tire, I might change it like two years or whatever, right? 200,000 miles. Brand new airbags. Hopefully they, they give me about three, four years. Do y'all see where I'm going with the batteries? Three, four years. So me being this first year as an owner operator, I'm just beginning to get this, right? I'm gonna make a more in-depth video on this subject, but my first three, four months I landed, I was in the hole, dude, because I didn't know what I was doing. I was making some money. I would come home, stay home for two weeks a month. I did that like three times, no, two times this year. And I just started as an owner operator. So that's what's gonna mess up a lot of y'all, not just at Lance or anywhere else, man. You're gonna see this money, and now you think you have the power to stay home. But what you forget is you still got your basic expenses, right? You still got rent or mortgage. You still got phone bill, electric bill, car note, blah, blah, blah. And you got your truck note. All that come out the first week of the month or whatever you got to set up as. So if you come home, a whole and take off a whole month you already had to pay no and uh, all your expenses for the month you come home I and mean, you take off one month by the time you go back bro you cutting yourself short hey, man, that's just a short word thing i just want to say that you know what the deal is man the baddest man in the land oh mama <laughs> there goes that man look my videos are real my videos are raw my videos are authentic you can't talk trucking without putting chasing mr hamilton in it you too we're out of here